let's talk about um, how we incorporated hoops visualize into Mindscape. So we had a challenge. One of our biggest challenge was um, how do we make sure that the mine planning engineers, the mine design engineers, the drill and blast engineers, geologists, and all these other experts within the mine site have access to um, a high-end 3D visualization um, package. So what we did is we wanted to make sure that um, our, our customers, which are really no different than, than the other industry users, like we saw from the previous two uh, the presentations, they they really require a strong um, so a strong visualization solution. So, and, and for us, it all caters around geologic modeling and mine design and planning. Now, we recognize that developing a graphics engine internally was time and resource intensive undertaking. So, what happened is the new features and functionality requests you know, got left in, in the backlog queue. And it, it could be for months because why? We were busy developing, using those resources on, on a CAD engine. So again, we were simul simultaneously trying to keep a graphics engine up to date while also creating mining specific features for customers. What happened is we hit a crossroad. Do we hire more developers with an emphasis on graphics or do we look for a third party? You know, for us, it was an easy solution, an easy decision, I should say. And we decided to focus on what we do best and that's to build mining software and let the experts handle the 3D visualization. So <clears throat> what was the solution? The solution was of course, Hoops Visualize. And, and we needed to access and integrate our apps with a powerful 3D um, graphics SDK. And we needed a high performance interactive interactive 3D um, visualization, which, which could be easy to implement. We didn't wanna spend time on this and all these development resources to do it. And so really what, what, was, what we found is that the Visualize, Hoops Visualize was way ahead of its competition. We did a POC on this. Now, the nice thing about it is not only, not only did we see that the functionality was there, but we also got some really good responsiveness from TechSoft around answering our questions and addressing any support issues and sharing roadmap plans. And it made it very clear to us we found the, the correct vendor. So data mine fills really fills that the decision to use TechSoft for the three graphics was a great strategic decision. It just made a lot of sense. We're, we're not a graphics company, we're a mining software company. So in the previous slide, I mentioned some of the results, but you know, really what, what, are, what are the good results? You know, we can leverage industry's leading visualization toolkits. That gives us the development resources to focus on mining specific functionality. <clears throat> We can reduce the time required to incorporate new features because we don't have to worry about building our own CAD engine. And we get to provide users the best possible rendering and selection performance solution. So, you know, Mindscape can now come out with new product releases that respond to the needs of the mining, a mining market quickly because our development resources are being, are being used differently. Now, why? The previous slide identified um, some of the uh, other it, um, results, but why did we change? Well, first off, we wanted to reduce the cost of in-house development. That, that was number one. We wanted to realign this. We wanted to also focus on our mining specific functionality. There was no need for us to continue to go down the path we were going. And I, you know, I, I guess a good analogy would be if if I would turn around and ask Jonathan and, and it, the team there at TechSoft to build some geologic modeling functionality or software for us. Yeah, so that's why we decided to go this way. We also needed access to high performance graphics. You know, the thing is with this with these high performing graphics <clears throat> is we wanted to do now we want to do more. We, need to imp we wanted our users to be able to improve on the velocity of their design work. And you know what? They, they're expecting this high performing graphics. 
And, and we also wanted stable software. You know, uh, since 3D visualization is integral to many aspects of our planning and design, we needed, we needed to find a solution for this. And it's imperative that our customers can display their data quickly and in real time. The other thing is uh, effectively manage big, big data. We're, we're getting more and more requests uh, of, of, of this. And how do, how do they bring all this big data into to a system and, and be able to rotate it and zoom in, zoom out, and do all this stuff? So the amount, the amount of data we can load up and manage right now is really impressive. Uh, I, I get a lot of comments from our users saying that the performance in, in our CAD is outstanding. And you know what? That's all because of the hoops visualize. So it's, it's, it's everything from the display to the plotting, to the interrogation, to the sectioning and the slicing. The last thing is, is the focus updates. You know, TechSoft has been very transparent and, and you know, we have regular catch up meetings with them and, and it goes both ways. They show their roadmap, we show our roadmap. So you know what? What happens is we're really confident when we get an update from TechSoft that it's going to work. The defects have been fixed and it's stable and we don't have to worry about um, uh, undoing it and putting the older version in. So it's been, a, it's been a really good partnership. Now, some of the benefits we're getting is we get to, we get to realign our development resources. We can take these resources and put them in other, other areas of Mindscape. Improve feature development, uh, as I mentioned before, it's because of the, the new realignment. We can reduce our defect backlog because we're not building a CAD engine. We get product development for point clouds. We get, you know, we get to work on a point cloud product now. And a lot of that was because hoops has taken that concern away from us that how do we handle this big data while well, we can handle it, okay? And then bottom line is improved CAD performance. You know, all in all, I can safely say that the benefits we, we receive, it definitely outweigh the costs associated with hoops visualized. I just thought I'd go through a few more um, slides just to show you some of the things that we can do now. Uh, you can see that we have a whole lot of um, prisms, triangulations in here. And these are these are massive areas that now we can spin around and look at. Now, the beauty of this, instead of doing simple graphics as before, viewing cross sections in 2D and contours, we can now do this all in 3D. And it gives the users the ability to view this, find the errors, make a fix, view it again in, in short order, not like before. This is just another view, uh, another, some more graphics of um, big, massive um, mining areas, again, with the prisms all through there. This is a block model. These are, we can bring in gigabytes of, of data now in, in Mindscape and actually slice and dice. You can see I'm, there's, I'm, we're doing cross-sectionals, cross-sections through here, like 3D cross-sections. This is um, point clouds and multiple formats bringing in, and these are millions of data points that we can bring right into Mindscape, view, rotate, do whatever we need to do with it. And this is an absolute must in today's world. It's all about bringing in big data. This, this is an example of, uh, of a client data. They wanted to see if they could bring this into Mindscape. And this one just happens to only be 146 million points that we can, we can load up. Now, I don't know how many people want to do that, but we, we tested it and sure enough, it works. This is just another view of a, a, a project area where we're doing a pit optimization, trying to determine where the pit limits are. And again, multiple triangles, multiple mesh triangles in here. Now, this, this last slide is what it's all about. This is what, this is what people want to see. They want to be able to have high, high performing graphics, visualize their data in 3D and get away from all the 2D systems that they used to work in.